Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and just to show you that I'm keeping my word and I'm still going to be doing homeschool videos and videos on great resources that I find, I thought I would come right back and do a video on um, some curriculum that I just love um, and it is from 4-H. My kids have been participating in 4-H for a couple of years. I lead our local 4-H group. Uh, homeschool 4-H group. Our 4-H group is a STEM-based group, so that's the focus of, of the group. Um, but And 4-H and is going to vary. Your experiences are definitely going to vary depending on how your group is organized, if it's a focus group or if it's a general group. But we are big fans of 4-H. I know sometimes when I talk to people about uh, participating in 4-H, they think they're like, isn't that just about showing animals? And that's kind of why 4-H was created for agriculture and farming and stuff like that. But it has really uh, transformed as an organization to be much broader in scope. I know that not everybody has a very active 4-H or sometimes people don't want to be completely involved in the organization, but they do have absolutely amazing curriculum resources available and I wanted to share those resources and let you know that you do have an opportunity to purchase those resources. Um, anybody can purchase them. You just have to go to, I think it's like 4-H Mall and um, purchase them directly from there. But I wanted to show you the curriculum that they have and just so that it can be integrated um, into your regular homeschool curriculum. It can be something that you do on the side. It's really just up to you. So here are some of the things that um, I purchased for us to use. I still have some stuff that's on back order. Um, one of um, Faster Fox's things um, is on back order, but I'm looking at Faster Fox and <laughs> Salamander, or I mean, some Faster Fox and Speedster over there. So I'm like, hello. That's why I'm looking over to the side. Sorry, guys. But um, so this uh, curriculum is called uh, Crank It Up. And it is about um, engine, it's their engine series. And I got this for Salamander because um, he showed on their channel that he and Speedster are going to be working with, um, we had a riding lawnmower that the blade broke and my husband gave that to Salamander and he, Salamander as his vehicle that he can kind of work on and stuff and he wanted to transform it into a, truck tractor sort of thing and his goal is to make it so that it can run on solar uh speedster is a, a little bit more familiar with solar and speedster was like well i think we can get the lights and some of the other stuff to work on solar i don't know if we're going to be able to transition the whole thing but um they're really excited about the possibilities of the project and so since they were doing such this really intimate project i wanted to make sure that um salamander knew as much as he could about um engines and that sort of stuff because that's a big part of what he's going to be working with and so this is the curriculum this is like the level one it is called crank it up and it covers how engines work working well with small engines and making small engines work for you one of the things i love about this these are designed for kids that are going to be doing projects one of the things I love is that you are um, supposed to get a project helper. That project helper can be your 4-H leader, it can be a parent, but they really encourage you to go out in the community and get a particular person that works in that community that's going to be your leader. So this is the first level. The level number two covers um again like how engines work working well with small engines and making small engines work work for you but it covers it at a higher level so it's talking about um, understanding pressure and understanding what sort of um, materials that you're going to be using it has uh, more complicated projects and once you complete a certain number of projects you get this little completion certificate that's filled out where you post your photo and, uh, of you and your project. So that's the second book. And then it has a third level. And as you can see from the cover, like the first one, you can see the kids are kind of small because this is level one and it's, it's for younger kids. 
and for for h for h starts at age nine so that's generally going to be about fourth grade third fourth grade and so um that's generally going to be where your level one projects are and then level two is going to be that you know fifth sixth seventh grade maybe and then level three is going to be that eighth ninth tenth eleventh twelfth grade and so this is a level three project and it also has the also got the helper's guide and in the helper's guide it guides your help if your helper isn't familiar with the program it gives them that information and it also lets you know how to level up you know how to make it you know what are the standards that that the curriculum is aligned with it lets you know uh, characteristics for kids that will be using it how to use this curriculum with kids in third through fifth grade versus kids in sixth through eighth versus kids in ninth through twelfth and it also has um, just gives you other ideas that you can do with the kids other projects so that's the engine curriculum Another curriculum I got was the veterinary science curriculum. Um, I got this because Speedster, he's really into um, wild animals and stuff like that. Uh, you guys know he, he's, you know, he's rockets, rovers, aerospace. But, you know, if you're going to do rockets and rovers, when he's doing unmanned does not mean unlifed. And so usually a lot of times when in the space program, we send up things that have, you know, they may not have people, but they may have animals. So it's good to know about it. And plus, he just likes animals. I mean, um, one thing about middle school that I love, I love that one of the reasons why I made middle school four years consistent with a lot of private schools is because um, with, with uh, middle school, you get the opportunity to explore a lot of different things. And he's 10. I didn't want him boxed in like... I didn't want him to say, okay, this is what you said you wanted to do, and this is why you, so you, you're going to have to do this. I wanted him to get an opportunity to explore lots of different things because there may be something that he wants, to, he thinks he wants to do now that he's 10, but when he gets 18, he may be like, you know what I really want to be is a chef. And so if we've not exposed him to any of those things, he can't make those kind of decisions. So um, this is the veterinary science. This one is the helper's guide. And then level one of veterinary science, and this one tells you that it is third through fifth grade. Level two of veterinary science tells you it's sixth through eighth grade. And level three is ninth through twelfth grade. And some of the projects that are in this book um, Chapter one for level one is a normal animal and it goes over breeds, basic needs, fur and feathers as friends and more, get growing, systems check, body language, what's for lunch, and some of those things are like um, little puzzles and stuff to help you learn more about the basic needs of animals. It actually has you do research projects with animals where you look you actually have to go out and observe the animals and talk about what you find and do a report out of those real life live animal observations so really really great um curriculum full curriculum another one i got uh aerospace curriculum and pre-flight this uh, this one, stage one, it's actually for clover buds, that first through third grade. Then liftoff is stage two, that's more of the uh, third through fifth grade. And then stage three is the sixth through eighth grade. And stage four is ninth through twelfth grade. And then again, the helper's guide. And... So the helper's guide, it gives you, like, I just turned to this page where it has an aerospace quiz bowl questions. And so it's for you to, like, play quiz bowl with the kids that are going through the curriculum. And thankfully, it gives you the questions and the answers. So you, if you have to be the helper for your child, then the uh, guides are great because they're designed 
with understanding that your the child's helper may not be somebody that's completely familiar with the topic. Another one that I got was woodworking. And with the woodworking, it's again four levels. So this is measuring up. And in this one, you have, it, it gives you, it's gonna take you through the tools, um, like knowing your tools, working with wood, practicing your skills, making connections, finishing up. And there are project plans. So in this one, the projects are a flower box, a letter or napkin holder, and a picture frame. And in level two, okay, you guys can see level one, it's like younger kids. Level two, it's a little bit older kids. And the projects are a napkin, letter holder, a birdhouse, and a footstool. For level three, which is nailing it together, the projects are a bookcase, a jigsaw puzzle, and a box of many uses. And in level four, finishing up, the projects are a step stool, chair, and a hockey table game. And then again, there is the helper's guide that's going to give you lots of really good information. And I have a couple more of the sets as well, but I actually didn't do it. Oh, here's one. Here is one. Oh, here's two. Uh, this is a robotics one, EV3, and it is just level one, but EV3 is a new system, so that's why they only have level one right now, but it's really great. Like, this one was made in conjunction with Ohio State University, and so it goes over, you know, project basics, and there's three activities in there. Uh, the next area is building your first first robot another three activities uh, project area next is sensors and then what do you want your robots to do but you just go step by step through them i really love that these are workbooks that you fill out and as your child goes through they're colored they're colorful they have all the information and it's beyond, the thing that I love about all this curriculum is that it's beyond just doing the projects. And there's a lot of depth involved. There's a lot of research beyond just kind of sitting down and doing the stuff that's needed. And when the child is done, they have something that's unique to them because they really choose how they do the curriculum. So that's what I really like about that. Another one I got is photography. And so... This one is focused on photography. This is level one. And it does use kind of older cameras. So this is an older curriculum. It hasn't been updated, but the information is still really solid. I went through it. The information is still really good and telling you how to get the best possible picture. And so level one is really on focus. Um, level two is on controlling the image. And level three is uh, mastering photography. Um, and here's another one I got, uh, You're the Chef. That's why I said, you know, he might want to be a chef because I was looking at this book. <laughs> but um, You're the Chef, it talks about healthy food selection, smart food purchasing, food safety and science, food preparation, food preservation, and careers and foods from around the world. And so again, it's got lots of good information. There's lots of good projects that your child um, is gonna be directed to do. Like this one, smart food purchasing, slow, moist, and tender. And it talks about how less tender cuts of meat can be tenderized. So basically it says, you can save a lot of money by buying a less tender cut of meat if you know how to cook it well. So what it does is it has a recipe. So it says, try this barbecue beef recipe in a slow cooker. So it tells them how to cook, you know, how to follow the steps, how many servings it's supposed to make. And then it says, questions are, how does moist cooking tenderize less tender cuts of meat? Question two, compare how much time you spend preparing the ingredients to the cooking time. 
What are two general concepts you learned about slow cooking? How can cooking less tender cuts of meat by this me method help you better manage your time and money? And then there's a section on there on buying meat. And then the next one is crazy casseroles. Because again, this was on budget friendly meals. And so it says casseroles are a great way to stretch a little bit of leftover meat or a pound of hamburger. You can use your imagination to create a casserole or you might want to use a box mix with everything already in it. And so again, it's just really good to teach us lots of practical skills. Um, a couple ones that I have that are being shipped. Um, one that Faster Fox is doing, it is steam based sewing. And so it's sewing, but it's going through science, technology, engineering, art, and math all within the sewing curriculum. And I think there has three levels and then the instructor guide. It was on back order, but I think it's being shipped now. Um, another one that I have coming, I ordered the books to look at them and get a good, good look at them and then for the ones that the kids are going to be doing, to, like if everybody's going to be doing it, I ordered duplicates. I have some other stuff over there, like there's a physics one that I have. There's a hands-on science one that I got, um, but some that I didn't get because we didn't really need them. I, there was one on like electronics. There's some on art. There's some, on, I mean, just really almost anything you can think of. They have some good ones there. And the price is great. Like, I think for this workbook with all the stuff in it, it was like $6. I don't think anything is over like $12, but most of the books are in the $5 to $6 range. And you can get the whole set, including the helper's guide. If it's three levels and a helper's guide, it's going to be less than $20. And if it's three levels um, or two two levels in a helper's guide is going to be like about 12 so it's really really good I've been really impressed with the curriculum if you have a kid in 4-H um, definitely look at having them do projects but even if your child is not in 4-H you can still go to the 4-H mall and <laughs> buy these it's um, online I will try to add a link a little bit later but you can go on and buy these curriculum sets yourself. You don't. You do not have to be an official 4-H member to do it. They're well designed. They're well made. Some of them, I will admit, like the photography one, they're not using the latest cameras. Um, some of the graphics may be a, may look a little old or whatever, but the information is solid, and you can always get a little up, more updated information um, online. Um, if you want, but for the price of the curriculum, it's great. It's pretty creative. I like that it has some really fun and unique stuff for the kids to do. So that's a great resource that I found and um, we'll be, I mean, it's going to be a long-term process with implementing these things in because part of it is part of what my kids are, uh, are doing in 4-H, but it's just a good way for us to be able to tackle some topics as well that I wouldn't necessarily want to create a, a specific curriculum for, or I wouldn't want to dedicate a lot of our homeschool time for, but it's definitely something that we can work into our schedule on a regular basis, especially for downtime and stuff like that. So I hope this helps. This is Dr. J, and I'm out. Bye-bye.